Hi everyone, it's Kayla here, the librarian behind Crossstitching 101. Hopefully, we met at the first Crossstitching 101 event, where you learned the basics of crossstitching following my instructions, as well as those found in my nifty Crossstitching 101 resource website. Today, in preparation for future crossstitching events where you will be asked, if returning, to bring a pattern of your own choosing or creation to work from, I'll be showing you to use the free tool Stitch Fiddle. Information on this resource can be found on the Crossstitching 101 website. And once you attend and complete the Crossstitching 101 event, a survey will be sent to you, which will direct you to this site. Using your email or Facebook account, you can sign in for free. I have chosen the Facebook account. While a premium option is offered, which impacts how many patterns you can store and create, the basic settings and options for free are perfect for beginners. Looking at the start page, we are going to choose cross stitch and the DMC pattern we are going to choose is DMC. Now there are more advanced options for creating your own pattern, such so as from a picture. But for the purposes of this flipped instruction, we are going to be choosing an empty chart, which will allow us to create a cross stitch pattern from our own design. Here, I've set the grid size as 20 by 20, so that it will be nice and square for us to fill in. You can see here, the grid is populated on the screen for you to start filling in with your pattern. There are very basic colors on the side you can change the colors that are present by typing in their DMC numbers. So if we want 150 as opposed to 151, the color will then change. You can also change the symbols associated with each. So for example, if we wanted a smiley face in the red block, then we would know that everywhere there was a smiley face, that is where the red color would be when stitching. Let's begin. I'm going to do a very basic pattern. I made sure that I have my color red I would like selected, and I'm going to choose the box I want to fill in on the grid. It's important to remember that for beginners, you want to make sure you keep everything very symmetrical and even. So I noticed that I have three on this side, and I make three right here as well. And I'll fill these in to start creating my pattern. Now, I already see a problem. Here, there is a space, and then the side begins. Right here, there isn't. So if you run into this problem, you can do undo, and individually undo all of your stitches that you made in your pattern, or you can simply go back over things in white. So if you're really bad at making hearts like myself, you can make a pattern like that, or you can play around and make any kind of pattern that you would like with any kind of grid specification. And that is how you make your own cross stitch pattern. And under your toolbar, there are different options for choosing legend colors and symbols. And you can also share, download, and print your own patterns. Hope this helps, and I'll see you at the next Cross Stitching 101 event. Thanks!